Well, starting tomorrow, you're going to see police all over here. A few years back, you might remember the crowds got a little out of control, and so now police and event organizers are on high alert. The amateurs were hitting the waves tonight, but come tomorrow, it'll be the pros here to compete in the U.S. Open of surfing. It's just a great get together for friends, family, the locals, and then you get to see some of the best surfing in the world. Fans may be keeping their eyes on the water, but police and other law enforcement will be out in full force, keeping an eye on the crowds. More than 500,000 people are expected in Huntington Beach over the next nine days, and they don't want a repeat of what happened in 2013 when the crowds turned violent and started destroying property. Yeah, we were down here when it happened, and, and it was pretty crazy, and they've taken steps to calm it down a little bit, so we haven't had any problems since our last riot. Organizers started banning alcohol and checking bags at entrances, but probably the biggest change came from the cancellation of some events. They were um, doing concerts on the beach, free concerts, and that brought in a lot of younger people. And then, um, then when the concert ended, everybody would go downtown, and they used to block up the street, and now they don't. Police say they've also partnered with other agencies to increase their presence since this is their biggest event of the year. Many locals say the efforts seem to be working. Very tame, con considering what it used to be. That's why they're excited about being out here. I know a lot of our neighbors, they, don't, they leave town um, during the two weeks, and, but we like to be around here. We like the energy and the excitement of it all. Now everything kicks off tomorrow morning, but since security will be tight and crowds are expected to be big, it's good to get here a little bit early. Live in Huntington Beach, Tina Patel, KCAL 9 News.